Hello there. Welcome to another talk. Another meditation. Another bit of insight. And today's talk is called How the Spiritual Awakening Starts. Well, first of all, I'll talk about how it started with me. It started at the age of 24 when I sat down and had enough of everything. And it was such a strong feeling that uh, this awakening manifested itself. I didn't know anything about this kind of thing. Uh, you know, no one in my family ever spoke about it. You know, some of my mum's side of the family uh, you know, got travelling gypsy in them and, uh, you know, can read tarot or your palm, but no one, to my knowledge, you know, spoke about it to me or didn't know anything about it. And, but that was the way for me. Had enough at the age of 24 and that's when it started. And in that moment, I knew that something had happened. Uh, yeah, so I knew everything had changed. I didn't know, I, th I knew I'd done something. Then I started going through this. And now you're being guided by your by a higher version of yourself. And that was how it was. And then all the time ever since then, I get new awakenings, new spiritual awakenings every every couple of days. Uh, when you're first going through it, it can be quite painful physically. The reason is because you're interacting with a certain type of radiation which is experienced when you're dealing with the higher self, because the higher self is just you in the future. So if you're interacting with the you in the future, with that comes a, a toxic form of radiation. Uh, you know, so you, it's basically time travel. That's basically what you're doing. And, and that was my one. But when I first had my awakening, I went through a rebirth, literally. I got to experience being born all over again. And I was being guided by the, by the pro, uh, guided, sorry, through the process by what people would call to as the higher self. And it's been that way ever since. As I'm talking now, I'm 36 on 22nd of October, 2023. So, and it's been the same all the way through. You know, new awakens all the time and because we are so de descended from, from our true, you know, ascended nature. And so it's really a bit, it's a bit like having an old banger car and then the, the more advanced version is like a Porsche and it's driving off and you've got to, and it, but it's pulling you with it. And as you're going along, you're actually aligning with this higher version of yourself. But, you know, spiritual awakening can be different for all different people. 
My one was everything came at the start. The energies I experienced were uh, beyond any drug I'd ever taken. And basically, you know, people talk of Kundalini, that's for another talk, but Kundalini is just an insight into who you truly are. And that's all the spirit, the first awakening was, just an insight. Uh, two weeks of going through this rebirth process and the energy crazy. It was, it was like becoming an angel. And basically, all that is just, it was just an insight into my pathway. And that's all, you know, like a Kundalini awakening is. It's, it's not the Kundalini awakening that, that you're meant to align with. That's just showing you a glimpse. But then as you're going on the path, you become tantric awareness, which is the, the true self. Which is the simplest way to explain it. Imagine love in all different forms, including motherly forms, in all different forms. Or ways, but anyway, yeah, that was that was my awakening. It just started, you know, up to that point. You know, my life was wasn't very nice, and at twenty four, I had enough. Now that might that's the way for me, but that doesn't mean it's the way for other people. You know, for some people. You know, some people have worse than I experience and they never wake up. You know? So again, it's, it's, it's a choice. It's something that you have to choose to do. Some people can be in a bad situation and they never leave it. A toxic relationship, for example. And they do themselves a disservice because they're not doing what they truly want to do. And it's kind of a waste, really, because then if you do that for too long, then, well, your life will never progress. But having said that, you know, Progression is a different type of progression in awakening. When I say progression, I don't mean the, e the ego type of progression. I'm talking about a desire to go back to who you truly are. And on this journey, that's, that's what you, you come into. And it'll be a different experience for, for everyone. So the spiritual awakening starts however it starts for you. There's not, you know, a specific awakening for, for like sometimes you see uh, people say on the internet, oh, a spiritual awakening lasts this long or that long. That is complete lies. It's, well, for me, I've been going on this path for nearly 12 years now, and I'm still going through it. So it doesn't last a certain amount of time. That is just nonsense because we are so... Imagine we are giant, giant angels. That is the true self. And imagine that to come to Earth, you've got to go through a descension process. That's just a symbolic, just giving you an, an imaginary image or symbolic image of, of awakening and ascension. To come to a lower vibrational planet, we've got to descend. You see, so, and there's no time frame on it. It's actually forever. Because you're in, once you're on this pathway, you're infinitely evolving. That's the whole point of being born. The whole point of being born is so you you long to be the perfect entity like 
the George Harrison song, Art of Dying. Because even as perfect as perfect can be, it can always become better. And that is transcension. So basically our soul comes here to transcend itself to something else. And that's the point. And even when you come to like a non-duality thing, there's no point. There's even a point to that. You know, think of nothingness. But there's a point to nothingness being there before there's a something. So that's it. You know, we go through a descension process and then, you know, now is the time we're going through a massive uh, awakening. And it simply cannot be, you know, people talk of artificial intelligence. And they try to talk about it as if humans have no, can't compete or can't live next to them. Well, that's not true. Because think about it, all the information AI's got is, is of us. If not for the humans giving all the information to the internet, there can be no AI. You see? And people only appear as dumb when they're descended, but that's, all, that's why that's going to happen if you come here. Like I say, the, the point to it is so that we can transcend. And, you know, new experiences transcend you into something else, whilst keeping everything else also. But for me, my awakening happened back, you know, to that because I decided to, but for some people, it might be listening to music like I've got on. Which is just energy kind of music. Spiritual music. But for some people, they, uh, they awaken through something like that. Or yoga or something else. Listen to someone. But, but again, it's not a giving. It's your choice. And uh, the reason, you know, sometimes if you're on my website, you'll probably notice that that I can take a while doing another talk. That's because I'm I'm a mum's register, registered carer. So I'm always busy doing stuff. I'm always doing songs or try to keep up with it all. And sometimes I forget about something. Oh, you know, I forgot that one, did I? But even this journey of being my mother's carer, it's actually linked into the spiritual awakening path, you see. You know, and my job is to just be like, well, what does, it, what does a journalist do? They report what's going on. Well, kind of like a spiritual one where I'm just going through the path and sharing it. To help others who are maybe going through something similar. They may benefit from uh, these talks. And the quite real question is, do you want to awaken and heal and ascend? Or do you want to remain the same? If you remain the same and it's going the wrong way, then that wrong way will continue, continue sorry, to be wrong. Get worse and worse. So, if you haven't had your spiritual awakening yet, this may be the trigger. This talk is a seed. I'm just going to leave it there. For latest updates, talks, news, research, all information and talks, my talk is always located on my homepage and my website. 
at www.lovelightfamily.com.